Hi everyone, Nick Chase for PCTV Reports out here at the Galvin Center today in the Salt Lake Valley for Slug Magazine's Brewstillery event, where a bunch of local Utah distilleries and breweries have come together in unity to show you the best of what Utah can make. So I'm here now with Angela Brown, the executive editor of Slug Magazine. Thank you so much for having us out here, Angela. I'm so glad you could make it out. So what was it like putting this event together? You know, it is so much fun. We are fortunate enough to have an incredible team at Slug Magazine that does so many events, including this event, the Brewstillery Festival. The thing that's really different and unique about this Brewstillery event is that we're getting all of the local distilleries and all of the local breweries together in one event. And so, you know, you're not going to see some of the bigger names like a Budweiser or a Pabst Blue Ribbon. You're only going to see locals. And so it's really great because experts um, can be talking to the public, educating them about their brands. And it's really fun for people to kind of learn and try new things. So now we're here at Water Pocket Distillery's setup and booth. And I'm here with Alan Scott, the co-founder. Alan, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So what would you say you take from that area in the Water Pocket area and how you bring that and try to blend that idea into your actual beverages? Well, our motto is open wild. So the idea is, for us, that embodies the spirit of adventure. And that particular landscape attracts people from all over the world. So we feel like we get a lot of inspiration from the world that we can bring to Utah. So I would, I would say the Oread is probably one of the most unique spirits. And I think the Oread is just because it, it, it embodies a lost tradition of botanical spirits that goes back hundreds of years and that, you know, is almost in its very nature breaking the big homogenized industrial type of uh, spirit that you often see on the market. It's the one that people, when they taste, often open their eyes and are like, oh my God, what, what did I just taste? So, and that is exactly the sort of feeling that we're going for. Open your mind, go on an adventure. That also kind of ties back into the water pocket idea of just go for it and, and do something that you haven't done in a while. Now I'm here with Tim Dwyer, co-owner of Fisher Brewing. Tim, how are you doing? Doing well. Fisher Brewery has just been one of those places that I wonder where I should go hang out at night, and it just it just works out. You guys are just one of the most happening places. What do you think has contributed to that? Well, I think uh, all four of us owners down there wanted to make a place that like we wanted to go to and hang out and drink beer and make it comfortable for everybody, and that was a big part of what Fisher Brewing is all about is just having a nice like tap room atmosphere. All of our beer is consumed fresh, and so I think that's a big uh, difference between us and a lot of other people's. We're not packaging our beer, it's only sold right there, and uh, the batches go, we go through the batches really quickly. And so having that fresh beer um, and having it in an environment that's comfortable, and you have a nice beer like garden in the back, and uh, you can, you're right there in the brewery, so if Colby's brewing that day, you'll smell it and you'll see it. Um, so it's a pretty immersive experience too, that, that whole like being in the brewery and experience the beer as it's being made, it's kind of a unique thing for Utah too. Now we're here with one of Park City's very own Alpine Distilling, and I'm here talking to Piper Underbrink. Piper, thank you so much. Of course, thanks for having me. What would you say is so special about the Park City location, and what do you think Alpine Distilling has to bring to the Salt Lake Valley? Both of our families are really rooted in the mountains and the Alpine lifestyle, so that's why we chose to distill there. And I think something that we can bring to the valley is really a flavor profile. We are focused in botanicals more than we are in anything else as a distillery, and it's bringing that craft product, craft spirit, craft ideas, and of course the mountain lifestyle down here to the valley. Well, you know, I'd just like to thank everybody that came out today to support our first year event. Thanks to PCTV for all of your incredible uh, support and coverage. And, you know, I'd just like to remember to remind people that even if you don't drink alcohol, there's still lots of fun to have here at the Bruce Distillery Festival. We have local food vendors, um, local crafts and local artisans here as well, and of course local DJs. Well, we had a wonderful day out here at Slug Magazine's Brew Distillery. We hope we gave you a good exclusive look on some of the places, distilleries, breweries. Go have a good time and enjoy a drink, just like I'm going to right now.